and welcome back to my channel. It is Kim with Bloomwell Home and Garden and today we are in the garden. We seem to have an abundance of Hungarian hot wax peppers. Now these fresh off the vine are pretty hot and spicy but I preserve them in a way that makes them totally delicious to use on sandwiches, pizza, and all good things. So follow along today while I make for you dilly pepper rings. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming along. Now is a good time to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any content. We'd love to have you join this community. If you are a fan of hot wax peppers, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Well, you can see these plants are really loaded. I only have a few of these hot peppers planted and they are really doing a bumper crop here. And so we're gonna go ahead and pick them. Now, traditionally, these types of peppers do not mature until they are red. However, when they are red, that really intensifies the heat. So traditionally, people pick them at this phase, in the yellow phase, to use them for canning and other purposes like that. So once I have them all picked, I'm going to go ahead and plop them down in the sink so I can get them all washed. And it's a really great feeling, guys, that these peppers have no residue from pesticides or herbicides. They are 100% organic, 30 feet from the back door, and I just love that. All I have to worry about getting off of them is some dirt and dust, and so they're getting in there and they're getting a bath. They're going to get washed. I'm going to make sure that I have all the dirt off of them and they will be clean and ready to go. In the meantime, I have also already washed the jars that I'm going to be using for this process. I have some pint sized jars here. I also have some new lids that I'm going to use and I have some rings that are going to go on the jars when they're all set. So once they're all clean, now this is not a required step. I just like to do it because I feel it helps keep the produce from getting mushy. I'm going to go ahead and lay everything out for it to dry really well before I go on to the next step. But what I'm going to do while these are drying is I'm going to go ahead and make my brine. Now I'm going to cheat here a little bit. This is a really quick step. I love doing this. We're using Mrs. Wages kosher dill mix and it just has the pickling spices in it. On the back it tells you exactly how to prepare it. Now this has a recipe for pickles but you can use this for peppers beans and green tomatoes so i've added my water i'm now going to go ahead and add my distilled white vinegar and then um once that is done we're just simply going to add in the package of mrs wages kosher dill mix and you really want to be sure to give this a good stir because there's a lot of little salts and spices in there and you just want to be sure that to get them dissolved and so we're going to stir it stir it stir it and once it's all stirred we're going to go ahead and put it on the burner and we just want to bring this to a simmer we really don't want to boil it we just want it to cook and kind of soften and dissolve all those pickling spices that are in there you could totally do the old-fashioned pickling spice recipe by hand if you want to this is just a quick step now we're going to go ahead and chop our peppers now I just want to let you know that these are hot peppers guys and I am not wearing gloves here and you can decide whether or not you're going to do that the heat measurement of these peppers is five to ten thousand and a regular jalapeno if you're just kind of com you know comparing them that is a 2.5 to an 8,000. So they have some heat to them. So wearing gloves is highly advised. If you are not going to wear gloves, I highly recommend that you um, wash your hands often and don't touch anything that you don't want tingly or burning later. That is the best advice I can give you. And when you wash your hands, you want to make sure that you're using a soap, like a dish detergent, that's going to go ahead and get those oils off your skin because uh, the oil from the pepper is what is hot and it tends to stay around. Now, I'm not bothering to take the seeds out of these at all. We kind of like them as the seeds sit in the mixture. They kind of make it a little hotter over time. So we go ahead and we leave them in. 
Now I'm just going to peel some garlic here. And um, I know it's easy to take the peel off if you smash the garlic first, but we want our garlic diced. So I'm just getting the peel off that way. And we're just gonna go ahead and dice this garlic up into really small little pieces. Now I know for some of you, um, garlic is just your thing. And if I say a quarter teaspoon per jar and you say, oh no, that's not enough, you do you. And if you love garlic and you wanna garlic that up, you go right ahead. It's certainly gonna change the taste later, but if that's what you like, you do your garlic. I know so many of you just love your garlic. So chopping this garlic all up and just setting it aside, uh, we're just gonna put some of this in each jar. So once I get this all chopped up, we're just gonna add it to our jars. Now I have some dill that I have picked from the garden. I have my garlic chopped. I'm just putting my lids into the pan where they are going to simmer and also my rings. Now you don't have to bring them to a boil. You just need to get that cork really warm so that it can clamp onto the jar and steal. Now as I promised, just a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic in each jar. And then I'm also gonna add a nice sprig of dill to each jar. And you can do, again, if you want more dill flavor in there, you can add a little bit more of the sprig. This is what I'm adding. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just pack in my peppers. And they're dry. We're not putting anything in the jar at the moment. We're just putting the peppers in after the garlic and the herb. And you wanna pack them down in there really, really well. That's super important to get them packed in. You also, now before we add our brine to the jar, you can see all those little pickling spices in there. You really wanna stir that well so it's well distributed so they're just not floating up on the top as you can see that they were because you want that really distributed. And also guys, if you use your canning funnel, which took me a whole jar to figure out, it goes so much faster. I will totally link my set down below so you know where to get them. It is so great to have these jars and these funnels that make it easier. Now I'm placing my lid on and screwing down the cap. And this first jar is all set. And I want to show you now what is so special about this process. Now from here, we're not going to put them in the canner. We're not gonna water bathe them. We're not gonna pressure cook them. Once they're in the jar, we're just gonna set the jar on the counter, upside down. That's it, just upside down. No water bathing, no, no further processing. They're just gonna sit there. We're gonna continue to fill our jars, put our brine in, put our caps on, and align our jars. You wanna make sure that before you put your lid on that you are doing just what I have done here. You are wiping that rim off very well because anything that gets stuck around that rim or where the lid screws on can have an effect on how tight that seal is and whether or not that seals or not. And you don't want that happening, so you wanna make sure to go ahead and just make sure that it's all cleaned off and then you can go ahead and put your lid and seal on. Container, I knew that I was gonna have about five jars and that is what I ended up with. So guys, I hope you liked this. I hope that it was easy for you. And for that extra brine, you can certainly put that in a 
jar, a glass jar, and let that cool. And once it's cool, you put it in the refrigerator for up to one week, and you can reuse it during that week. After a week, you want to discard it. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. If you are on Instagram and you make this pepper, pickled pepper, head over to Instagram and tag me so I can see it. Thanks so much. For